welcome we will start with some basic questions and then go in detail first question what is the procedure for preparing bulk solution for eye drop or air drop solutions step 1 use water for injection that is wfi for solution preparation step 2 dissolve apis and excipients under continuous stirring step 3 adjust ph and osmolarity to match physiological conditions and final step step 4 pass the solution through sterile 0.2 micron filter reference who gmp guidelines for sterile pharmaceutical products what are the critical in process controls during eye or air drop manufacturing volume check which ensures uniformity in fill volume secondly filtration integrity test which verifies filter integrity post use and third ph and osmolarity this test is done to ensure compliance with the formulation specifications. Reference guideline USP chapter number 116 on septic processing. What are the important quality control tests for ophthalmic products? First, sterility testing. This test is done to ensure that ophthalmic products are free from microbial contamination. Second, endotoxin testing. Third, visual inspection. This is done to ensure that the filled product is clear and the absence of particulate matter, fourth pH and osmolarity testing, and fifth packaging integrity testing. What are the commonly used preservatives in the ophthalmic products? Here are the details of five commonly used preservatives in ophthalmic products. These are benzalkonium chloride, that is BSE, second chlorobutanol, third methylparaben and propylparaben, fourth polycotonium one, and fifth pyrite. How is sterility ensured during the filling and sealing process? Conduct filling in an ISO class 5 that is grade A laminar airflow environment. Use pre-sterilized vials or bottles and caps based on product thermal stability. Perform terminal sterilization. Implement in process checks for equipment integrity and aseptic technique validation. Reference guideline UGMP Annex 1. What is key challenge in preserving eye or air drops and how it is addressed? Challenge microbial contamination in multi-dose containers. Solution add preservatives like benzalkonium chloride or thiamersal. Reference guideline USP chapter number 51. How is the packaging material for eye or air drop selected? Use LDP that is low density polyethylene for squeezable bottles. Ensure compatibility with the formulation to avoid leachables and extractables and perform container closure integrity testing that is CCIT. Reference guideline ICH Q1A R2. How are water for injection that is WFI and purified water managed in manufacturing? WFI is generated through distillation or reverse osmosis systems. Regular monitoring of total organic carbon that is TOC, microbial count and conductivity ensures compliance. Reference guideline WHO TRS that is Technical Report Series number 970 Annex 2. Very important and technical question what is the purpose of adjusting pH and osmolarity of the solution? pH ensures compatibility with the eye or ear. pH range 6 to 8 for eye drops is commonly referred. Osmolarity prevents the irritation by matching the natural osmolarity of the body fluids that is approximately 290. M os that is milliosmol per kg. Reference guideline USP chapter number triple one. One more important question: How is a media fill test conducted, and why is it important? Replace the product with the sterile culture medium during mock filling process. Incubate filled units for microbial growth at 20 to 25 degrees Celsius for seven days and 30 to 35 degrees Celsius for another seven days. Confirms the sterility of the aseptic process. Reference guideline USB chapter number 797 and UGMP Annex 1. What is the significance of osmolality in ophthalmic preparations? Osmolality ensures the solution is isotonic with tears, minimizing eye irritation. How are ophthalmic suspensions different from solutions? Suspension contains insoluble drug particles dispersed in a liquid medium. The particle size distribution that is PSD in suspension is critical to ensure uniform dosing, reduce sedimentation and minimize irritation to the eye. 
Why is light protection important for some ophthalmic products? Light sensitive APIs can degrade when exposed to light, affecting the product's potency and efficacy. What is the role of an antimicrobial filter in ophthalmic product manufacturing? Antimicrobial filter removes microorganisms and particles from solutions, ensuring the sterility of the product. Why is nitrogen purging used in ophthalmic product manufacturing? Nitrogen purging reduces oxygen levels to prevent oxidation of sensitive components. Why is terminal sterilization not always used for ophthalmic products? Some formulations are heat sensitive, making aseptic processing a better alternative. How is the clarity of an ophthalmic solution tested? The clarity is tested visually, ensuring the solution is free from particulate matter or cloudiness that could irritate the eye. What is the significance of endotoxin testing in ophthalmic products? Endotoxin testing ensures that the ophthalmic products does not contain harmful bacterial toxins that could cause severe eye irritation. What is the typical pH range for ophthalmic preparations? The pH range is typically 6 to 8, close to natural tear fluid around pH 7.4. Very important question, what is the role of viscosity enhancers in ophthalmic preparations? Viscosity enhancers improve retention time on the eye, enhancing drug efficacy by allowing the medication to stay longer in contact with the ocular surface. Here, retention time refers to the duration for which an ophthalmic preparation remains on ocular surface. How are ophthalmic solutions tested for stability? Conduct stability studies under ICH conditions that is for long term that is 25 degrees Celsius at 60% RH for 12 months and at accelerated that is 40 degrees Celsius at 75% RH for 6 months test for assay pH, appearance, viscosity and Stability Reference Guideline ICH Q1AR2 Stability Testing What is the procedure for visual inspection of ophthalmic products? Inspect all filled containers for particulate matter, cracks, seal integrity and clarity. Use manual or automated inspection systems. Record and reject any defective units as per standard SOPs. Reference Guideline WHO GMP on Visual Inspection Guidelines how is the processing equipment sterilized before use which come in direct contact with the product? Use autoclaving or steam in place that is SIP for sterilization. Verify sterilization parameters like temperature, time and pressure. Perform equipment swap testing post sterilization to ensure cleanliness. Reference guideline WHO GMP Annex 4. What are the major challenges in ophthalmic product manufacturing? Sterility maintenance, formulation stability and patient comfort are the major challenges in ophthalmic product manufacturing. Very important question which guidelines are commonly referred for eye drop or air drop that is ophthalmic product manufacturing in the pharmaceutical industry. First good manufacturing practice that is GMP. Second European pharmacopoeia that is EP. Third United States pharmacopoeia USP. Fourth ICH guideline Q7 on Good manufacturing practice for active pharmaceutical ingredient and ISO 13485 2016 are the commonly referred guidelines for eye drop or air drop manufacturing. Don't forget to like, comment, and share. Subscribe to the channel for more videos related to our pharmaceutical industry.